Now at 5.30, a community demanding answers days after a deadly police-involved shooting. That shooting happened Friday night, and as of tonight, we still don't know who the officers involved are, and neither does the family of the man who was killed. And that lack of information from police comes amid reports from witnesses that the man was shot while he had his hands up. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live tonight in Perrine with more on the investigation. Gary. Well, a community meeting is set for 7 o'clock tonight here at the Sweet Home Missionary Baptist Church in Perrine. This is a community with lots of questions about that fatal police shooting on Friday night amid claims by some that the man who was shot was unarmed. That claim disputed by Miami-Dade police and emphatically refuted today by the police officers' union. About 6.30 Friday night, Miami-Dade officers in an unmarked car pull over a Nissan for a traffic stop. A passenger takes off running, but the driver, 21-year-old Jamar Rollins, remains, police say, with a gun in his hand, and an officer was forced to shoot him dead. Four days later, the dead man's family is in the dark. The police, they're not releasing nothing at all. Like, they're they not explaining nothing. They ain't let my mama view the body or nothing. They're not, they, they just like... They're shoving it like it's on pause. The family's concern over what happened here is escalated by what witnesses say they saw at the scene. They dispute the claim that this graduate of Palmetto Senior High with no history of violent crime was holding a gun. My cousin jumped out like this with his hands up. As soon as he jumped out with his hands up, know what they do? Let eight rounds off in his this teen who asked we not show his face said Rollins followed the white police officer's instructions. He tell him to get out of the car. He get out of the car with his hands like this. He like this, pointing, facing this way. Police hit him, bum. He fall on the floor, he stand over him, bum, 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 bum. Hit him all in his back. Miami-Dade police have not commented beyond their original claim that Rollins was armed. The FDLE that investigates police shootings also declined to comment, but the police union is speaking out. He was not shot uh, while he was up outside of the car with his hands up. He was uh, shot while he was still in the vehicle pointing a firearm at a police officer. It's that simple. If history repeats itself, it could be a year or more before the FDLE completes its probe of Friday's fatal shooting and longer than that for the state attorney to decide if this man's death was justified. Now, you can see the stark contrast there between what the police officers union is saying about this fatal shooting and what some who claim they saw it happened are saying. This community and this family perhaps uh, upset most at the fact that so little information has been released, not even the names of these officers. Perhaps more will be revealed at this community meeting that begins here at 7 o'clock tonight. For now, we're live in Perrine. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you.